Good afternoon, everybody. It's with great excitement that I share the news with you. You may well have heard it already, that Governing Council made a decision on Monday to keep this great school open. You will be aware because you would have been at the brunt of much of the anxiety and um, stress that we've had in the last few months, that St. Martin's as a model has not really been sustainable. We've had three issues that we've had to deal with um, and some of those have got progressively worse. The first thing, of course, is our location. Many of you drive through Rosettenville into this area and you know that the location is a problem just because of the urban decay. Our second issue were our fees. Um, they were much higher than many of our competitors. And then, of course, the third thing was the model that we, we ran um, with the incredibly wide subject choice that we've had. Much planning went into this new model that we've designed. Um, we've had our actuaries on board. They've worked really hard at it. There's some top minds that have been thinking through this. We've had input from our staff, from our parents, for which we are very grateful. Um, and we have come up with a model that makes this school sustainable, not only for next year, but for the next 20, 30, 40 years. And that was important for us. Um, that's why it also took a bit of time and, and thank you for your patience um, in this issue. The model really <clears throat> goes around to moving our high school to the prep school so that as a school we are on one campus. It's quite obvious that the savings because of that um, are significant and it sorts out the area of the location. People will no longer need to drive through Laying Street where the urban decay has been so terrible. Um, so the area of the location has been dealt with. Um, I love actuaries, they do amazing things and so what we've done with our fees is we've aligned those fees so that they are very close to our closest competitors um, here in the south of Joburg. And so that's something that I'm very excited about. So people will no longer be turned away because our fees were much higher than those at the schools down the road. And um, then the, the model in terms of the wide subject choice has also been radically addressed. And so we will no longer be um, offering a range of, it was as much as 13 subjects. In fact, almost no other school in the country offers that many subjects in grade 10. Um, that has been trimmed down and we have very cleverly thought through subject choice that will gain, it will gain you access to any university course. Um, and so with that, our teacher-pupil ratio will now also be something that is sustainable. It was really important, as I said to Governing Council, that this model can't be just for the next year. It needs to be sustainable for the next 6,500 years, whatever. Um, St. Martin's, formerly St. Peter's, has once before been in a very tricky position. As you know, may know, in 1956, this school, which was called St. Peter's, was a school for black boys. And being in a white area, it was closed down um, through pressure from the city of Johannesburg and from the apartheid government. And then it was a school for black boys. And then in 1958, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, St. Martin's opened a school for white boys. The history is quite bizarre. What I'm saying is that St. Martin's has been in this position before and we have triumphed. With the difficulties that we've had in the last couple of years, we have radically changed our model and we have yet again triumphed. And so I am incredibly excited about the future for our school. At the prep school campus, we have some cleverly thought through eco-friendly classrooms. They're hip, they're funky, teenagers love them. Um, the high school tuck shop is gonna be the coffee shop. The kids just love that idea. Um, and so we've got some really exciting plans about how to fix up the prep school campus so that both schools have space there. Very doable. And um, certainly, as I said earlier, it saves a whole lot of costs. Questions have been asked about the facilities. Um, sure, we don't have 16 fields and five swimming pools, 
but in the modern thought of sport, um, sport is now becoming a thing at schools where you want to start with a sport that you can do in life. Um, so cycling has become a big thing. And so that is one of the sports that we're going to offer. Or in fact, triathlons where you swim, you um, run and you cycle. And open water swimming has also become very, very popular in our country. So even the sporting um, options that we're going to offer our pupils, although different, um, will not be something that, um, you know, people will not be willing to do. Lots of planning still needs to happen. Um, there aren't, it's not like there aren't going to be some kind of obstacles and we are very much aware of that. But with the energy that we've seen from our governing council, from many of you as parents, it's, um, in my opinion, a job that we can do together and, as I said, easily triumph again and make this school, um, again, the best school in the south of Johannesburg. And so we look forward to this journey and we are really hoping that you're going to join us on this journey um, because together we can make St. Martin's great again, um, a school where every child is known. That's what has set us apart in the, in the past and will continue to set us apart. Thank you.